Hi, this is Dr. Elizabeth Livingood, Medical Advisor at LDN Research Trust. And the question comes to us today, why does LDN cause vivid dreams? Well, LDN can definitely impact sleep and dreaming for several reasons. And first, let's remember that dreaming can take place during both rapid eye movement or REM sleep as well as non-REM sleep, but the most vivid dreams occur during REM sleep. So an increase in vivid dreaming may be an indication that a person is getting deeper and longer sleep during REM. So for most people, that is a benefit. And also REM cycles tend to be longer and deeper in the morning towards the end of our sleep period. So if you have to set an alarm and interrupt this sleep cycle, then you're more likely to remember the fact that you just had a vivid dream. Now, according to the Sleep Foundation, some other factors that increase vivid dreaming include anxiety and sleep deprivation, both of which may be experienced coincidentally by many people who are taking LDN um, simply because their health issues brought them to that medication, but they already had some underlying anxiety or sleep deprivation. One study found that participants who were sleep deprived for a period of time experienced longer periods of REM sleep and increased dream intensity when they were finally able to sleep again. So that may be a good thing for some people. Now finally, the most direct way that LDN can cause vivid dreams is via neurotransmitter modulation. Many studies have shown a correlation between increased serotonin and or dopamine with increased vividness of dreams. LDN directly modulates dopamine and our endogenous opioids, which in turn help regulate serotonin. So one study in 2013 showed that intake of SSRIs as well as SNRIs, which are antidepressants, seemed to intensify dreaming and were experienced in different ways by different people, confirming these individual responses that we see with LDN use. Another study showed that the frontal cortex is very rich with serotonin receptors and these influence visual pathways during sleep paralysis. This is when our body, um, actually our motor centers shut down during sleep, but our visual pathways are heightened. So increased serotonin can induce visual hallucinations such as vivid dreaming. And then finally, a meta-analysis in Psychology Today in 2016 found a strong correlation between dream recall and the frontal lobes again, which are also the primary projection sites for dopamine fibers. Now, conversely, people with frontal lobectomies reported reduced dream recall, possibly due to the reduced number of serotonin and dopamine receptors. This same meta-analysis, Mark Solms proposed that dopamine is what actually fuels the hallucinatory dream content. So for the same reason that LDN can help alleviate pain and depression via opioid and neurotransmitter regulation, we see an increase in vivid dreams as a response to these revived receptors in the brain, as well as increased levels of endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin. Um, these references can be found at the end of this article and, of course, in the LDN book.